Welcome back to Crystal Clear. I'm Ultra Vox, and with Steven Universe's upcoming sixth season, there are a lot of characters you may be wondering about. The uncorrupted Crystal Gems. Where are they going to live? The Great Diamond Authority. How are they going to behave in this brand new Era 3? Or how about Jasper? What's her future now that she's back, with tensions between the Diamonds and the Crystal Gems over? However, I think there's another character we should be keeping our eye on. Lapis Lazuli. We found it out one of the more, uh, divisive gems in Steven Universe. Lapis has had quite an interesting journey over the last five seasons. Going from a gem caught in the crossfire, being held captive on both sides, to becoming a reluctant refugee, slowly warming up to Earth, Paradise, and the Crystal Gems, to abandoning everything she's grown in fear of the diamonds retaliating. Now we have a version of Lapis that's a Crystal Gem, complete with a brand new reformation, who stuck up for Steven alongside the Crystal Gems when the odds were certainly not in their favor. Lapis has put her gem on the line, but her arc as a character has not yet been concluded. One example that also serves as a clue to Lapis' role in Season 6 actually stems from voice actress Jennifer Paz's Instagram with a post from earlier this year, with Paz herself present at Cartoon Network Studios, attending a recording session of the series. The caption reads, What up guys? I know it's been a minute. I'm still here, and I cannot wait for you guys to hear this one. Fun record! Of course she tagged Cartoon Network Studios and hashtagged at Steven Universe, Lapis Lazuli, and Grateful. Aww. Now the key word in this description is here. She didn't say, can't wait for you guys to see this one, which would make sense if it's just the episode entirely, but here? That makes me think that Lapis is getting a brand new song. Which of course makes sense, as the only song Lazuli has her name right now is That Distant Shore, which came very late in the show, but it was certainly something worth waiting for. Yet we know that songs in Steve Universe have become almost exclusive to big character development moments. A song in Steve Universe is either usually used to set the stage for an episode, close out and give resolution to an episode, or to dwell into the psyche of a character. See where this character or a group of characters are at mentally. How a character is progressing on their own journey of recovery. So what does this have to do with Lapis and the upcoming season? Although we don't have any concrete details on the story of season 6 and beyond, I do believe there are a few pre-existing plot points that could come back into play pertaining to Lapis. Plot points that could lead into a pretty great song. A great plot point to start this thread of speculation is the fact that Lapis has returned. A moment we didn't get in Reunited or Change Your Mind was a conversation between Paradise and Lapis now that Lapis has decided to stay on Earth as a crystal gem. Yeah, the show didn't elicit any screen time between fighting Blue Diamond and then fighting White Diamond, but that doesn't mean this conversation shouldn't exist at all. Although I think Peridot and Lapis' friendship will be fine, it still may be weird for a while, if not forever changed by Lapis' actions throughout the fifth season. While Peridot may be understanding and respectful of Lapis' situation, she can still be hurt in her own way, needing time to still process everything and allowing herself to fully forgive Lapis. This is where Lapis' song could come into play. Maybe we could have a duet with Peridot, where the two are struggling to find their own new normal, especially now that it's looking very likely that Peridot and Lapis can move in with the rest of the Crystal Gems, now that the barn is destroyed and Steven's own house got caught in the crossfire, allowing enough remodeling to fit in two new gem rooms, perhaps? I'd like to think so. But let's say they don't want to harp on this and we can just assume off screen, Peridot and Lapis made amends and they're as happy as ever. Well, there's also Jasper. Again, Jasper's back in the picture. What is the return of the kindergarten courts who could mean for Lapis, Paradise, and the rest of the Crystal Gems? By the end of Change Your Mind, once she began to piece together what was going on, she didn't really come across as hostile. In fact, Amethyst came to comfort her. We know Rebecca Sugar is all for a Jasper redemption arc, but the question is, how do you tackle a redemption arc when the character in question had a very toxic relationship with another fan favorite. This is where Lapis' song could come into play. Perhaps we could see Amethyst try to help Jasper make amends with Lapis, trying to reunite the original homeworld trio, but on a lighter note. Instead of a trio for business, they're a trio for friendship. Lapis will not be for this. And when Steven tries to talk to her about it, we get another beautiful song just explaining her view of things. Now this plot point in general will be a bit uh, risky for Steven Universe to tackle, while well, I'm sure they could find a good way to handle it. If we ever ended up in a situation where Lapis did forgive Jasper, it will, regardless of the execution, face some serious 
nice blowback. Not saying that should stop them from telling the story they want to tell, but it is just something to keep in mind. I actually want to talk about this a bit more in depth in another video, but if you're interested in that, let us know in the comments below. Last but not least, perhaps Lapis's song could be about Blue Diamond. Again, we kind of have to see how the diamonds are reacting to this brand new era of homeworld. An era of peace, change, and acceptance. Lapis clearly had a lot of frustration she took out on Blue Diamond during their short-lived battle. Rebecca Sugar went a little bit more in-depth on this in this TV Universe podcast, stating the diamonds essentially bring all of these children to the world and then abandon them. Something that could be the focus of season six are the diamonds either still pushing off their uh, parental duties or trying to do a better job of connecting with all of these gems, giving us a different set of Lapis we never really had a chance to explore before, how she truly feels about her diamond. After all, being mistaken for a crystal gem and trapped in a mirror, Lapis had to naturally come to the conclusion of paying the blame on Blue Diamond at some point. Right or wrong, there just has to be some conflicting feelings. Feelings that would be beautiful to come out in a song. But who knows, since Jennifer Pass said it was a fun record, maybe this song's a bit more lighthearted giving us a look at fun, cozy Lapis. Maybe it's a fun song with Steven, Peridot, Amethyst. Maybe Lapis is becoming a SoundCloud rapper. Anything's possible. We're in uncharted territory. But as always, these are just my thoughts and I want to hear yours. What do you think? What are your thoughts on Lapis' upcoming song? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below or tweet your thoughts at RontableVids. And for more of my own thoughts, you can find me at Thoughts. We're also on Instagram. Help the right to grow by either becoming a member of this channel or supporting us over at Patreon. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe to the round table for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an awesome day. Oshak Fox, signing out.